Gent, a GMI company. In this video, we will show you how to install your ARIA glass board. Start the installation by checking the parts list. Verify that all parts and hardware are included with your glass board set. If you are installing the glass board onto your wall studs, then you will require pan head screws. And if you are installing your glass board onto a brick or drywall surface, then you will require wall anchors. Please note that glass suction cups and a three-person install team are highly recommended. The following tools are required for installation. Step 1. Attaching the cleat system. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step 1 by locating and marking the studs on the wall. Next, determine the desired height you wish to install the ARIA glass board and make a mark from the floor to where you would like the bottom of the glass board to be on the wall. Use a pencil to scribe a level line at the desired height. Position the cleat mounting system on the wall and align the lower support bar to the scribed line. Next, use a pencil to mark a minimum of four holes on the lower bar using the pre-drilled holes as a guide to match the stud locations. Align the lower support holes with the marked studs if possible. If the pre-drilled holes on the lower support bar do not align with the studs, then you will need to use a permanent marker to mark the stud locations on the lower support bar and drill a minimum of four 3 16 inch diameter holes through the lower support bar at these locations. Use a hand level to determine that the lower support bar and cleat system remain level at all times. Repeat these steps and using the cleat holes as a guide, use a pencil and mark the hole locations. Next, set aside the cleat system and drill the pilot holes on the marked locations. Use a power drill with a 7 64th inch drill bit to drill the pilot holes in the wall. After all the holes have been drilled and using the help of two people, place the cleat system back against the wall. While matching the drilled holes, affix the lower support bar using two pan head screws. Place one pan head screw at each end of the lower bar and secure one screw at a time. Insert the screw through the lower bar and into the stud matching the previously drilled pilot holes. Tighten the screws using a power drill with a Phillips head driver bit. After making sure the lower support bar is leveled, tighten the screw using the power drill and secure two pan head screws to each end of the cleats. Finally, tighten the screws on the lower bar and cleats to ensure a minimum of four screws are used per bar for a total of 12. For larger sizes, you may require more screws than shown here. After all screws have been tightly secured, step one is now complete. Step two, removing the wood spacers. For this step, you will require a flathead screwdriver. Begin step two by verifying that the cleat system and lower bar are properly secured to the wall. There are five temporary screws on the wood spacers that will need to be removed. Using a flathead screwdriver or a power drill with a flathead driver bit, remove the five screws from the wood spacers. Remove all screws and discard the wood end screws when finished. Step two is now complete. Step three, mounting the ARIA glass board. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin step three by lifting the glass board using suction cups if available. Slowly lift the glass board and push the glass board up against the wall above the cleats. Slowly lower the glass board onto the cleats, matching the mount locations located on the back of the glass board. Verify that all of the glass board mounts rest on the cleats and that the glass board itself rests on the lower support bar.
Congratulations, you have completed the installation of the ARIA Glassboard. Enjoy your new ARIA Glassboard. Brought to you by Gent, a GMI company.